Take five to care and take strides to make strides against breast cancer. Joining me now are two very special guests. We have Maggie Hubbard, Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Community Manager, and Marquita Ibera, who is a breast cancer survivor. Thank you both for being here. Marquita, first question out of the gate. How are you feeling today, and how long have you had the title of breast cancer survivor? I am feeling great today. Um, I've had the title of breast cancer survivor for at least two years. It's been three years from my diagnosis. But other than that, I'm getting stronger even every day, and um, hopefully I'll be right at 100% very oh. soon. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for being here, and uh, you have a fantastic event coming up, Maggie. Mm -hmm. The Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. Uh, this is a huge event, and the American Cancer Society raises money to help women in the community. Where does that money go? Yeah, so we have several local programs in Kansas City. We have um, our local Hope Lodge that's right downtown at 12th and Pennsylvania. It's a free place for cancer patients to stay while they're getting treatment, and they can bring a caregiver or a loved one with them. We've got our local Road to Recovery program where we have volunteers that actually come and pick up the cancer patient if they don't have a ride to treatment. Um, they'll come and pick them up and take them to and from treatment. And then we have our local Reach to Recovery program where it partners a um, breast cancer uh, survivor with a newly diagnosed breast cancer patient. And it's just kind of that mentorship to help and guide them to answer those questions when you know they know what they're going through. So. Um, we've got that. Um, we also have um, our 1-800 number that anyone can call any time of the day. Um, and at our office, we actually do free wigs as well. So if, if anyone needs a free wig, they can just call and make an appointment and um, they can get a free wig. So many financial and emotional burdens can be lifted with the help of your organization. And Marquita, as someone who has, you've walked through the fire, you came out the other side a champion, can you explain how important it is to help these women who are just facing this diagnosis have the burdens of these things lifted? Yes, I'd be glad to. To have the American Cancer Society um, at your disposal, it is such an honor to have this because you do reach a lot of roadblocks along the way like as far as needing to get to treatment and uh, coordinating family members to take off from work to take you to treatment and to pick you up from treatment, the American Cancer Society provides some of those services. Um, so in order to get through those roadblocks, um, they are there for you 100%. Marquita and Maggie, thank you both for being here. Thank it's you. a wonderful event on Saturday and it really helps people here in the community that are facing what seemingly feels like insurmountable odds. So thank you for, sh and congratulations. Thank you for sharing thank your story. Thank you so much. So blessed to have you here and you are just fighting the good fight and you're a champion. Thank you very much. We invite you to take five to care. Lace up your walking shoes for the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. It's free to attend. It's this Saturday, October 28th at Crown Center. Registration begins at 7.30. The walk begins at 9. For more information, go to kctv5.com and click Take 5 to Care.